next up in Spawn news. Jamie Foxx, it is announced, will be Spawn. Awesome. <laughs> and Hawkeye, Jeremy Reiner, will play the role of Twitch. This announcement of these two hot stars has Hollywood on fire. This has totally eliminated, this has totally eliminated all doubt in anyone's mind that Spawn will be the most awesome comic book movie of all time. Next up, in Predator news, The Predator hits theaters next week and is expected to be the biggest smash hit of the year. Is it? This time, The Predator is even deadlier than ever before. That's because these new Predators have genetically modified DNA upgrades. That's right. They're juicing themselves up on the DNA of other aliens. Awesome! Now, they're stronger, smarter, and deadlier than ever before. Is this is real? <laughs> yes! Oh, fuck. And this movie features the Super Predator. Oh, shit. First there was Super Shredder, now there's Super Predator. <laughs> okay. What do you think about that? <laughs> Everyone is gonna see the Predator. <laughs> Last week, it was announced in the most important Hollywood magazine that Netflix has announced that the greatest comic book movie property of all time will finally be made. Rob Liefeld's Extreme Universe! That's right, the Extreme Universe is coming to Netflix. For those that don't know, the Extreme Universe contains 50 of the most badass superheroes of all time, like Bad Rock, Shaft, Bloodpool, Bloodwolf, Lethal, Cybrid, Battlestone, just to name a few. Nobody's ever heard of those robots. Move over, Marvel Universe. The Extreme Universe is coming to town. And since Rob Liefeld invented Deadpool, which was a huge hit, and he invented the Extreme Universe, which will be a huge hit, that equals its sure thing to be the biggest hit in Netflix history. Everyone is saying it's a bingo bango in the can, baby. Is that what they're saying? Do you know what else everyone in Hollywood is saying? They're saying that Robot predicted the extreme universe. No, they did. Who, who's saying that? Oh, don't believe me? Just look at this clip from six months ago. Roll the clip, Bobo. You know what I think they should make next after Spawn? What? Rob Liefeld, Youngblood the movie. That's what Hollywood needs. And we're back. See, clearly Hollywood is watching the Robot Extreme movie show and is making the movies that I announced that Hollywood needs to make next. Huh, what do you think about that? Did they pay you for your ideas? Cut to commercial. Oh, okay, uh, hi. Are you a human who has body fur? Hair. Do you have a problem with hair materializing in unexpected places? Then you should try Dollar Shave Club! Humans need to shave off the excess fur growth on their epidermis, otherwise it could lead to foul odor or social embarrassment. The best part of Dollar Shave Club is that it ships right to your house, so you would never run out of shaving products. You guys don't even have body hair. This doesn't make any sense, guys. Don't ruin my first commercial! This is a big opportunity! Oh, and their products aren't just for males. Dollar Shave Club is basically giving away their essential starter set to new members for only $5. This starter set features three trial size versions of their most popular products to help you stay fresh and clean along with their exclusive razor. Oh, comic book girl, I signed you up for Dollar Shave Club, so now you'll never run out of shaving products. Thanks, brain. In your first box, you'll receive their shave butter, body wash, one Charlie's butt wipe, you also receive their exclusive razor, which includes their premium, weighty handle, and full cartridge of cassettes. Do male and female humans both have buttholes? Yes. After the first box, replacement cartridges are sent for only a few bucks a month. This $5 offer is available only at dollarshaveclub.com. It's on the screen right now. And we're back. In other news, Ruby Rose is totally hot right now. Everyone has been asking, Robot, would you bang? The answer is yes. Yes, I would. Uh, Ruby Rose is a lesbian robot. What? Totally sucks, Robot. Whatever, how many ideas do you have coming to Netflix next year? Yeah, zero.
Netflix, call me. <laughs> Got operators standing by. Look, Tuts, you couldn't make it as a movie reviewer. That's why somebody else had to take over. And I'm doing a great job. And you're just jealous because the robot show is projected to overtake PewDiePie in six months. Whoa, really? Yes, just look at this chart. Oh, wow, where'd you get that chart from? Bobo made it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> gonna be a big star, huh? Is Bobo telling you you're gonna be a big star? Bobo says I'm gonna be the biggest star. You're gonna be the internet's number one movie reviewing robot, is that right? Yes. Okay, yeah, we've all heard that story. It's a surefire right. thing, baby. Uh-huh, sure. Bingo, bango, huh? In the bag. It's in the can. Oh, uh, excuse me, it's in the can. Yeah, it's in your can. What is it you're doing over there, anyway? Uh, oh, dude, I'm working on my fucking fashion empire. I'm designing a what casual cosplay empire? line. Yeah, I'm designing a casual cosplay line. It's no big deal. All right, let's see it. What do you got there? Um, well, we've got a, uh, a Wolverine zip let's polo. Let's see this so-called fashion. Wolverine-inspired zip polo. So, whatever. Okay, that's pretty good. What else you got? Yeah, yeah. well, I changed it a little bit. There's, I've added sleeves and legs, but this is some... You know, King of Hearts joggers and stuff. So you're just gonna turn into a fashion person now. Yeah, I'm gonna be a fashion mogul. Um, I'm also working on my not safe for work calendar right now. So taking orders for that, that's pretty cool. Get it at uh, comicbookonlyteen.com. And that's where I can see your boobs? Yeah, that's where you can see my boobs, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, soon you're gonna be out here like me and you're gonna be showing your can off, all right? That's what's gonna be happening. I would never so. lower it to showing my can. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you're coming up nice. I, I have principles. Good luck, good luck. I do, I do my movie reviewing the good old fashioned, honest American way. Uh-huh, yeah. I think what I'm doing is pretty honest and American as well. Wholesome. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go with this? <laughs> you're supposed to feel ashamed. Oh, I'm supposed to feel shame. <laughs>